a cheerleader. She is always right there when I need her. Oh, Sorry, first I have to say congratulations on last year. I mean, what a season. Not only, of course, the uh, Argos winning the Grey Cup, but also what your young ladies did on the field and supporting the team, supporting the city, and just representing. You guys are absolutely amazing. What was it like for you to be part of such a phenomenal year? Yeah, well, last year was pretty a pretty exciting season, you know, from top to bottom. It was sort of that full encompassing season of, you know, pushing through and then coming out with a championship win. So it was pretty exciting, uh, you know, for myself. It was my, my third Great Cup win with the team, each one, you know, becoming uh, incredibly special in each unique in itself. Um, and just exciting to see, you know, my, my cheerleaders uh, experience that and uh, just a great a great thing for our, for our, the Argonauts Club in general. Now, I'm going to let in on a little secret, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but as a uh, part of the cheerleading squad, do you not get a Grey Cup ring? The, the girls will actually, and guys, will actually have uh, an opportunity to get to get a ring. That That is that is true. So, it's uh, you know, some girls have been on the team for, you know, five, six, seven, eight years, and, uh, you know, waiting for that, that chance to get get their ring we're all you know part of a team we all play a specific role so i'm really happy that the girls you know get the opportunity to to to, to get a ring i'm just looking forward to seeing you one of these days put up a picture with three rings on your on your hand it's got to happen something. right i was sort of like leaning right like like, like the weight is heavily on one side yes seriously <laughs> exactly but look when you have a phenomenal year like that i mean how can you top it i mean as we speak we're coming up to the cheerleader tryout auditions, um, I mean, what is going to go on with this? And for folks who have never done this or are now going, wow, you know, being part of a championship team, I want to be part of this excitement. What happens? What goes on? Like, how is this? Explain how this is all going to go down. Yeah, definitely. I think it's a really exciting year, you know, building off a great cup win. Um, you know, Coach uh, Tressman and uh, Jim Poff just put together the most amazing team. So, I mean, cheering for a championship team, being on field, seeing the, the city really get on board next season, I think it's something uh, – you know, that uh, dancers and performers in the city really want to get involved with, you know, a love for performing, a love for doing work in the community. It's, again, really an, a whole encompassing experience for someone looking to get involved. Um, you know, come out to auditions. We want you want to see your talent. We want to see you shine. Uh, we have a limited number of spaces, uh, and we're really just looking to secure uh, the best talents in the city and put on a real great show uh, in-game. Well, let's look at first. Let's, I'm going to jump in. Let's look at the rules for in audition. Uh, what are the rules? Definitely. Uh, so we're obviously looking for for performers that are 19 years plus. Uh, we want the, you know, we want, like I said, we want that strong performance quality. So uh, people that can come show show us that they have the endurance and uh, the moves to to be part of our awesome awesome uh, performance team. Now, for you personally, now those are the rules, but you personally, okay. what do you look for? I mean, because I know as a judge, and I've been doing this for many years, I won't be able to do it this year because I'll be at the so Juno, sad. but I will still be reading you guys on. What are those special things you look for? I know for myself, um, there's that, that you know, that smile, that, that, you know, just that spark that you can tell that people are attracted to. And then also I also look for is, man, you got to know how to kick because you got to kick high. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Well, the skill set has to be there. That's where we're putting together a strong dance team. So we want that skill set there. Um, but a lot of the, the other things I look for, because so much of what the girls do and the guys do is, you know, off the field. So it's someone that I want to, I want to, that's coachable, that, that's hardworking, that's, uh, you know, motivated personally inside practice and also outside of their personal endeavors. Um, you know, someone that represents himself well on social media, that 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 takes pride in in you know their their career. I, I think being an Argos cheerleader is more than just uh, more than just a performance opportunity. It's sort of a lifestyle, and we want you know members that sort of uh, reflect that uh, reflect that at all uh, personally. Now, is there anything you're supposed to fill out on the website before coming down? 
Yeah, we've made registration super easy this year. So it's as easy as going on argonauts.ca under the cheer tab, um, and there is a fillable form there where you can enter all your information, which basically saves you a spot, and uh, we'll see you at auditions. It's as easy as that. Okay, so now I've filled that all out. I come down. What exactly will happen the day of the audition? Right on. So you got to be prepared to learn a great piece of choreography from one of our uh, – team choreographers, uh, and everyone will, will perform that for us, and we'll sort of do a series of cuts uh, throughout the day, um, yeah. finishing off with a personal interview, because like, like I said, beyond just dancing and performing, we, we want to make sure you're a right fit for the team, uh, get to know you a bit more, make sure you're sort of in line with, you know, what the season, what the requirements are, um, you know, from from the start of the season, which is June, all the way to the end of end of November. Now, I've seen where um, the auditions can go from 100, 200, 300 people trying out for this. Um, and, of course, not everybody can make it because there's only a certain amount of spots. As a judge, I've seen people come out and try out, you know, one year, two years, three years, and then finally get on a team. So just because you don't make it this year doesn't mean you have to quit and you can't try again, Correct. Definitely. We, you know, I've seen and, I, and I've had, um, you know, members of the team that, you know, didn't necessarily make it their first year. Maybe they came back two or, like, three, like you said. Uh, and then they were finally right. You know, they finally had the, the mindset, whether they, you know, were in school, finished school, whatever it personally might be for them. It just sort of made sense the year that they were taken on. So uh, we don't want to discourage anyone that didn't necessarily make it last year. It's, you know, might have been a, a limited number of spaces. Um, you know, there's a variety of things. So come back, you know, you know what you're sort of getting yourself into. And uh, like I said, there's some people that have sort of, you know, been in that place. So we want to encourage everyone to come back out. Okay, before we go, any advice you can give those young ladies who are going to be trying out and going to be part of a phenomenal year? I just can't wait for the Argo season to start. Yeah, come on out. Show your positivity. Show your love for the city of Toronto, your passion for sports and performing, and I think that will just shine in, in, in your audition. Okay, so one more time, where is it going to be happening? What time does it begin? And, of course, the website, where do we go to get all our information? Yeah, our ghost year auditions are happening uh, Sunday, March 25th at Canada's National Ballet School. Registration starting at 12.30, and we'll kick off the auditions at 1. You want to find out more information and also pre-register your space, you can go to argonauts.ca and uh, find out more there. Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there.